How's it going guys? So before we get started with this video, I do have a quick announcement. So I recently made a TikTok and I will be uploading some past videos to it every day until I get caught up, as well as new videos as they're released. So if you're interested, check it out. Thanks. All right guys, so today I thought we could do a setup tour video and I could kind of show you, you know, how I have my recording equipment set up, what I use, and kind of the behind the scenes of how I make videos. So to start off with, here is the area that I record videos in with all my gear, and all my guitars. I got my acoustic in the case right there. And I also have my inspirations right above me. I'm sure it's no secret what my favorite band is. So moving into the studio here, this is the chair that I sit in, and this is where I set up my tripod to film all my videos. And I, like a lot of people nowadays, film everything and edit it through a laptop. I use GarageBand, and this is the audio interface that I use to connect to GarageBand. It's a PreSonus AudioVox i2, and that's how I record all my guitar nowadays. I do have the amp set up here for when I just want to noodle or jam around a little bit, and that is a Vox AC15C1. I do actually use the amp still with the Blue Snowball microphone there to record bass because I think it sounds a little better. And I also use it sometimes for clean electric guitar. But distorted guitar, I exclusively use the AudioVox i2 because I don't have a good enough microphone to capture a proper distorted tube amp sound. I do have my two distortion pedals right there that I use, again, for just writing or jamming or whatever. I have my Boss OS2 overdrive, which I've had forever. And I've also got the Horizon Devices Precision Drive, which I think adds to the OS2 really well and really rounds out the sound. And down here I have my SM57, which I used for vocals in my song that I just wrote. And then for acoustic guitar, I usually take the Blue Snowball and I set it up on this table right here so it's right in front of the hole so it gets the best sound out of it. So I'll typically have my laptop set up here, you can see with my earbuds in, and then depending on what I'm recording, if I'm recording an electric guitar with distortion, which is most of the time, I'll have the AudioVox i2 hooked up there. I'll grab my guitar, hook it in here, and then we're all ready to lay down tracks in GarageBand. I have my original song project opened up here. You can see the direct input tracks for the rhythm guitar. And I actually do quad track. I have a Royer 121 simulated microphone on one track on one side and then a 421 overlaid on top of it. And that's pretty much how I do rhythm on most songs that I do. And then if I'm recording bass, I will hook up the USB on the Blue Snowball. And as you can see, I do physical instrument bass tracks. And then down here are the vocal tracks, as I said, that I record through the SM57. It's not a USB microphone, so you have to run it through the audio interface. And then for drums, I always just use GarageBand's Session Drummer program. I think it does a good enough job for what I need it to do. If you've never used this before, you can adjust like all kinds of different parameters down here. You drag this slider here and you can edit softer, louder, more simple, more complex, and it will adjust the track based on what you select. And then you can also get into the patterns of the kick, the snare, you can pick hi-hat, cymbals, different patterns of those too. And then you can adjust the amount of fills. It's a pretty good software. And then if I wanna switch over and just play my electric, I'll take the lead out of the audio box and put it down in the precision drive to complete the signal chain. have it. Pretty simple setup, but gets the job done every week, and I think it yields pretty decent results. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.